Okay, one of the things I wanted to show here is I've got the superheat temperature probe placed in two different places. I've got the regular probe right here. That's on the suction line about halfway between the evap and the compressor. I'll show you where I put it inside here. And here you can see a close-up where the yellow line there uh, is strapped to the uh, suction line right at the TXV bolt. Right now, I'm reading off of the inside probe, and we've got 13.4 superheat. Now I've pulled that temperature probe off, and I'm using the one on the suction line. And let's see what we got. Okay, you can see there's a considerable difference between the two. On these small units like this, it's really important to take the temperature right where the bulb is. That's the only one that's going to give you any good sense on these things. If you're taking them here on the suction line, surprisingly, an insulated suction line, you wouldn't think it would uh, rise that much in temperature and it doesn't even have the liquid line bonded to it. So, uh, but it is quite a bit different. There's a lot different temperature between the two. See, 13.4 and 22.4. So, when you're doing these things, take your probe right at where the bulb is. Okay, that's all on that.